windowcleaner.com. Welcome to Waterfed Pull Class with Window Clean Resource. Today we are going to go over how to clean commercial windows using Waterfed Pull. We will be working on a building that uh, has a second floor and first floor, and we'll be just working for the Waterfed Pull on the second floor. Using the Phantom carbon fiber pole here, we have um, a univalve inside to turn the water on and off. On, off saving water as much as possible. Also using the Zero Pure RODI system. Here at a commercial job is very important. Usually you'll have a little higher TDS at commercial properties and residential properties. We'll be using the Tucker Hybrid brush. I clean this building every three months. If I was to clean it about once a year or every six months, I would be using a more aggressive brush, which would be like an all boar hair brush. A larger brush like this, an 18 inch, is probably going to do you better on a commercial job so that you cover more space. But let's get over to the windows and we're going to do this all in first person. You can see exactly what I'm doing on the windows. Okay, so we're here at the job site. Um, basically what we're going to do is with a row like this, we're going to do all the first top row windows first, then we're going to come back and do the second row. So I had to switch to our boar hair brush. Just found some windows that are pretty dirty, so I decided to do that for this job. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to work the top first. Right? If this was my first clean, I'm going to go through the whole window, whole window set, and work all the seals. It's a little bit harder at this height. And work all the seals like this. Now I literally go and do all those like that and then come back and work my top. This isn't my first time cleaning it. So this time all I'm gonna do because it's maintenance is clean the top row, let those drip, come back, start where I started, do the other window, do the bottom window, and then do that. So with this window, I'm going to start at the top of the window, work the top either side to side, or you can scrub like here, right? It's a small window. Do that we have the rinse bar up there rinsing i always just like to give it one last good rinse though especially with hydrophobic glass which is what we have here you can tell it's hydrophobic because the window is beating up instead of kind of looking like a syrup coming down the glass when it's hydrophilic so we work the top work there give it a good rinse so normally for the sake of time though, I'll just go down here, but normally I'm gonna do that whole row, come back and then do these. I'm gonna shorten up my pole a little bit so I don't hit this car. So once again with these, I'm going to work the top edge here. I always suggest working um, top to bottom so that your water, your dirt is always going down. Starting from the bottom, you'd be pushing your dirt up, right? We don't want that. We always want the dirt to be going down. Start your top, really work your top in your bottom. Those are the places where the dirt's gonna be the worst, especially the bottom. So what I'll do first though, is work the top, box out the window, right? Work my bottom edge, and then just work the whole middle of the window. And I like to go back and forth about four times. That's good. And come up to the glass, either take your brush off, or if you have extremely good pressure with the rinse bar, you can keep the brush on the glass and rinse that way. For me, with hydrophobic glass, I like to rinse off and see what I'm doing. So same thing with this window. Work the top edge like so. Box out our window. I think for the bottom, instead of going side to side, it's better to get that scrub of going up and down. And then we're just going to go back and forth on the glass, like so. So that's pretty much it as far as how to clean commercial glass with a water-fed pole. Just remember that if it's your first time clean, it's gonna take a little bit longer. You're really gonna have to go through, clean all the seals, clean all the seals rubber seals really really good let those drip out 
you don't do that and you think you're gonna get in one pass, you're gonna get a bunch of white drips coming from the seals and dirt. So the best thing to do is go through, clean all those first, go back, do your top, come back, do your second row. Now it's gonna probably take you just as long the first time as it would to ladder it, but then every time you come back thereafter, it's gonna take you way shorter time to clean it. So that's it as far as cleaning commercial glass with a water fed bowl. If you have any questions about the tools I've used in this video, please contact Window Clearing Resource and that's it. And we'll be back for more water fed pole class in the future. Bye bye.